A police raid on a villa in rural Italy turned up some unexpected contraband last year. Two paintings by Vincent van Gogh that were stolen 14 years ago. They were found behind a false wall in a house linked to a cocaine trafficking ring. The artworks were returned home and can once again be seen by visitors at a museum dedicated to the master in Amsterdam. They're back home again. That was the message from the Van Gogh Museum when it unveiled two paintings. The last time the works had been seen on the museum's walls was 2002. That's the year they were stolen. They remained missing until Italian police recovered them in September. Each are valued at $54 million and come from a period crucial to Van Gogh's development as a painter. Those two paintings are from Van Gogh's early period, um, so they are not necessarily the most sort of iconic works, but they are of very particular significance. The beach view in Scheveningen is one of Van Gogh's earliest paintings, and it is the only painting that we have, I can say now, in the collection um, that he painted in, in The Hague. Um, so it was a major gap when that picture was missing. And the other work, the church in Nunen, where his parents lived, he had painted as a gift to his mother. Van Gogh's father was a minister at the church. After he died, Van Gogh added mourners wearing black to the canvas as a tribute. The painting of the sea suffered minor damage during the theft when it was ripped from its frame. We have no idea what happened to them uh, in the intervening years. In the speech view, a small piece in the lower left corner is, has gone missing, but it does not really disturb the image as such too much, and the um, small church is practically unharmed. Um, and that despite the fact that they lost, both lost their frames early on. Um, so that's, you know, another miracle, really. For the museum's director, the return of the paintings was cause for celebration. He called it one of the most special days in the history of our museum.